Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So um, today I wanted to film a tutorial for you guys that is extremely affordable. And the thing is, it's hard for me because some of my all time favorite products are a little bit more upscale, a little more bougie, but I do really love a lot of drugstore products as well. So I'm gonna be kind of infusing drugstore versus like affordable. Um, and what I mean by affordable is like Morphe. Now you can find them in Ulta and stuff like that. And I do consider Ulta half drugstore because you have prestige, but then you also have your affordable drugstore brands as well as these kind of brands, these um, individual startup companies like Morphe and BH Cosmetics. And if you shop the Morphe and BH site, you also get extremely affordable products, as well as if you shop in store at like an Ulta. So they're gonna be a fusion of different products, but all within a pretty affordable range, and i um, gonna try to actually tally up the prices of everything so you guys can see what it would cost you to purchase. Unless you already have it, then you are a step ahead of the rest. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, I have used this primer in the past in some of my other tutorials and basically I really do love NYX. Now I think they're NYX Professional. They started out as NYX Cosmetics but um, this is the Honey Do Me Up primer and it's extremely hydrating and it has like little flecks of gold and glitter in it. So this may not be for everybody, but it is definitely something I love. Another primer that I think is affordable and it's a little bit more bougie is um, the No Problem Primer, la la, No Problem Primer from Touch and Soul. And this I think was about $17.99 or $18, which is still a little pricey, but not so bad compared to your Laura Mercier primers or your Smashbox, which are gonna run you upwards of like $30, $40. So anyway, we're gonna pop on some NYX Honey Do Me Up. It's very honey-like, and it's extremely soothing and hydrating. And the reason I like this primer is because it really does give you that glow and that dew, but somehow, magically, it does actually work into your skin. Just really patting and pressing this into my skin. Okay, gonna put on a little bit of lip balm again. Got this at Walmart, I think it's a dollar. Vaseline lip balm. So we have our primer set and ready to go. Now with foundations today, I was a little bit tough for me because my skin color is kind of like all over the place with the summer and some of the foundations that I had on hand, I wasn't sure. So I'm going to be mixing and I'm going to start today with Milani's Conceal and Perfect. This is a two-in-one foundation and concealer. It's a medium to full coverage, lightweight, oil-free, long wear, water resistant, and sweat proof. Now, I wouldn't go as far as to say that because I've worn this before and it does sweat pretty much with your skin, but if you set it properly and work with it, it's definitely something you can wear. I'm gonna be mixing light beige and sand beige together, and I'm also gonna pop a little bit of Light Illusion from um, Flower Cosmetics. Again, sticking with that drugstore brand and also giving my skin just a little bit more luminosity. And concealers today are Makeup Revolution, which you guys know I love and swear by. And I'm gonna mix a little bit of ColourPop concealer, which is $6. And this one is actually even more money. Uh, the Makeup Revolution is $8. So the fact that you have a $6 concealer and an $8 pretty awesome compared to your shape tape and other concealers which are wonderful but run you upwards of like 30 something dollars so let's get to mixing and i'm going to be applying today with my flawless face brush from elf cosmetics hopefully this will blend in and i won't look like an oompa loompa <laughs> because Drugstore foundations do tend to oxidize, but that's why I want to use the flawless brush because it is fluffy and it's dense, so it'll put foundation on, but also kind of shear it a little bit. I 
And I think this is meant to be more of a powder brush, but I actually really like using powder brushes as foundation brushes. Covering all around my neck, just making sure that this foundation is super even. And now I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and just kind of bounce this in and smooth everything out. Come make your appearance. Hello. Hello. Show everyone your cool shirt. Oh. I love your shirt. This is the Alice in Wonderland Grateful Dead shirt. Since we are hippie loving in this house. Pretty cool dude. Tie dye. Awesome. Guest appearance from my kiddos. They're too much. They are so much fun though. We actually went to uh, The Incredibles 2 and then this past weekend we went and saw Jurassic World. Um, we just took our older son though because the little one's too scared of stuff like that but it was super awesome you guys and you know don't want to spoil anything because this is not a place for spoilers but um, I definitely have to say I think it was probably like a hundred times better than the first Jurassic World because I didn't personally care for it as much um, but I really liked the new one but yeah my um, older son is like a huge movie buff He's eight now, and um, he just remembers the craziest things about movies. Like, and also, like, if we're watching a movie, he can remember like the actual actors and stuff. So, like, if there's a uh, cartoon movie he likes, and he hears this like a voice from another movie, like he'll be like, "That was so and so in this movie." And mom, that's um, Chris Pratt, and that's, you know, uh, Zoe Zaldana, and like all these people. And it's just so cool that he picks up on that kind of stuff. Because I was actually very similar when I was younger, too. Um, I would get fixated on characters and voices and just try my best to like learn all different actors and stuff like that. And I was a big movie person. And, um, my twin brother and I would always recite lines and we just had really good memories that way where we could remember lines from different movies and stuff. So I'm going to take my uh, Morphe G40 really quick and just do a little buffing. Again, sticking with more affordable brushes. The only thing that is not drugstore is this particular beauty sponge. I do use other ones and I will use them by Real Techniques and Morphe. Um, I just haven't quite found an off-brand sponge that I really like to move the product around um, for setting, baking, and just kind of merging colors. I use drugstore ones but as far as placement I really like my beauty blender. So, sorry guys, but that is available now at Ulta's, so I think that's pretty awesome. It's still the same price, but it is kind of crazy though, if you think about it, $20 for a sponge. I think it's a little pricey personally. But anyway, I'm going to go in with a Real Techniques face sponge and just merge my concealers and my foundation before we start to bake. And then to bake, to bake today, I'm gonna to use my Maybelline Fit Me in Fair Light, which is definitely not my skincare color right now, but um, just for baking purposes, I think it'll do its job. I'm gonna use a Morphe sponge. I really like the flat edges on this sponge. So I think it does a really good job for baking. And the Maybelline powder is actually really good. 
I see Nikki Tutorials use it quite often as well. I don't know if it's because she's sponsored by Maybelline or if she just genuinely likes it. I know that I am not sponsored, but I will tell you I like it. I've actually tried the Maybelline Translucent setting powder. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I kind of hope they don't because I really didn't like it. But the Fit Me powder is great because it gives you that little bit of color along with the setting power. Um, and it comes in different shades, which I think is really awesome. So now I want to go into eyeshadows and I was looking to see if I had any like a really official drugstore like L'Oreal palettes or Maybelline's. I did have like one or two that I'm pretty sure fell apart just because they do tend to um, have a lot of fallout and loose pigment. Um, so I think I'm going to stick with my Morphe only because I just find it easier and you get such a wide variety of colors. So I'm going to look into the Morphe Dare to Create which is very affordable considering the size, the quality, and the amount of shadows that you're getting. Um, I really do love the colors in this as well. And then of course the Morphe Jewel palette. You guys know I like this one a lot with a lot of your neutrals and your warm tones. So we'll probably just do a neutral warm look today. But I do really love this palette or both of these palettes. And um, I like the quality, like I said, of the Morphe shadows. All right, so first things first, I wanna go into my Dare to Create, and I'm gonna take um, this lighter peach tone and this orange tone and just kind of mix them together on a BH fluffy brush. And I'm gonna blend them on the back of my hand and start working these into my crease. I'm gonna pull this onto my lid as well. I love this palette, but man, it is so big. Like I feel like I have to just I don't know, I haven't gotten a system down yet for, for this particular palette. <laughs> beautiful. You are beautiful. All right, so actually, Right now, I'm probably not gonna need this Jewel palette because I have a color in here that's really similar to Stone Fox, and it's this orange tone here. And we're gonna pop a little orange in the crease today. I'm actually gonna mix even a little bit of that coral, that hot orange, and just kind of mix the two together and really kind of warm up this crease. And we're gonna do this on an MB23 from Morphe. So still fluffy, but again, we're gonna just bring it down a little bit and size the brush. And just barely press with these colors because they're super, super pigmented. You really don't need a whole lot of pressure. Really work this color on the outside, or these colors, I should say. This way you pull a lot of the um, drama on the outside corner. So I'm gonna take this kind of burnt orange brown right here. And this is on an M441. You guys know I love this brush. And I might actually pop into a little bit of Rock Out in this Jewel palette as well. So it's kind of more brownie. So we'll take that kind of like burnt orange coral and this like orange brown and focus it on the outside corner and also deeper into the crease. Beautiful. 
really like smoke out this look. That's the one. All right. Now, since we're at it, I'm going to just go hop into that rock out and again, that kind of burnt coral orange and mix the two again together. This time on a Sigma E30, which is a pencil brush or a bullet brush. And we're going to run this right along our lower lash line. When the two colors mix together, it's almost like a cool kind of whiskey orange tone. I don't know, it's just gritty, but sexy. And it's it just really, really pretty, especially if you have um, like blue eyes, green eyes, I feel like it's really gonna pop them. This is an Anastasia smudging brush. I'm just gonna take this plain with no color and just smudge it into the lower lash line just to soften it and smoke it out a little bit. Okay guys, so going on to a BH brush, this is another fluffy brush, but this is clean. I'm just gonna pop it into this lighter color here and to the second one as well. And I'm gonna mix in just a little bit of that um, Maybelline face powder just to tone it down a little bit and sheer it out and we're just going to bring this into the crease just to soften and merge the colors together and really quickly before we go any further I'm going to take a little more Maybelline powder on my setting brush from Real Techniques and we're just going to now wipe away any type of fallout around the eye, and you can dust away that bake powder as well since we shouldn't have any problems with fallout at this point. Now we're gonna start working on lid color. I'm actually gonna take a little bit more of that powder real quick though, and just go along the jawline since we're gonna do contour soon. All right. Now before we do lid color, I wanna actually highlight the inside corner of my eye. So to do that, I'm gonna take Molten Gold from Maybelline, which is a highlighter, and it's gorgeous, shimmery, glowy. I really love this color. I'm gonna take a Real Techniques um, shadow brush and just hit it with a little fix. Sorry guys, that's not drugstore, but I really don't have a drugstore setting spray at the moment. But you can use water I mean, anything just to dampen the brush a little bit. And I'm just gonna pop this now on the inside corner of my eye just to brighten. You can pull a little bit onto the front part of the lid. Now the inside corners of our eyes are really nice and bright, but we wanna put a little bit more color on the lid. And in sticking with that gold, I'm gonna use Liquid Gold from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And I really love these cream shadows. And we're just gonna focus this right about three quarters to half of the way in. I don't wanna take away from what's on my lid. I'm gonna use this Morphe shadow brush just to work this color in and set it a little bit. And I wanna keep the outside corner fairly smoky. I'm just gonna come around the top of my crease real quick. Give that a minute to kind of dry down. So now that the liquid shadow has dried down, I'm gonna go back into my Morphe Jewel palette and use the color Fool's Gold, which is this beautiful gold. And I'm gonna take my ring finger and just kind of swirl it into the shadow, press it in to get a nice amount of pigment. And then we're gonna place this on top of the liquid shadow and a little bit further into the center of the lid just to kind of marry the colors together.
beautiful. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and do eyeliner. You don't have to do liner. You can go ahead and curl your lashes, do mascara, but I wanna put liner on with this look and in sticking with a drugstore affordable brand, I'm gonna use the Revol Revolution Makeup Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. So my eyeliner is on. I want to go ahead and start bronzing my cheekbones up. So I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the shade bronzer, so I think it's the deeper, but I know they've created some new shades as well. So just test them out, see what works for you. But I like this because it's very natural. And I kind of dust this into my cheekbones. I don't quite go under like I would with a contour just because I really want to warm up my face. So I'm kind of sticking with the cheekbone area, the cheeks. And on my forehead, kind of right above the brow bone, I have like a little bit of protrusion. So I go right into there just to add some warmth on the actual jaw. So right now I'm kind of dusting into that powder, that baking powder I have on, the Maybelline, on my chin, right at the bridge of my nose. Okay, so now going in for contour, I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Pro HD, and I'm just going to take the darker colors and a few of the lighter ones, and just kind of focus this right at the top edge of my, of the indentation here. I don't want to bring it down quite as strong today. Just want a little hint of contour. Same with the neckline here. I'm just going to kind of work it behind the ear, under the jaw. Just to give me a subtle kind of contour. Now I'm just going to grab a little bit on the chin. And taking the lighter colors up on the top, I'm just gonna bring a little bit into my forehead just to condense some space, but not put too much color. All right, so I usually put a little bit of a setting finishing powder under my eyes, and generally I use my Charlotte Tilbury. But sticking with drugstore today, I'm gonna grab my NYX Hashtag no filter powder and I think it works really well actually almost just as well as my Charlotte Tilbury and the price difference is Absurd, but I'm going to take a little on a Morphe sponge And just work this underneath my eye just to finish this area Now obviously with the Maybelline powders, they do have a color tint so you don't have to worry too much about the translucent um, white powder possibly coming through because it is skin tinted, but because mine is um, a little bit lighter, I just want to work this in. But I like the brightening effect it gives. Blush today, I'm going to be using Coral Cove from Milani, which is a beautiful, warm salmon pink. I love, love, love this color so much. Now, I want to go ahead and use my BH Cosmetics Highlighting Palette. This is the Spotlight Highlight six color palette, and it has a beautiful variety of colors here. But I'm going to take a mixture of Dream and Glow. Glow is champagne. Dream here is kind of like an orange gold, and I love the two together. So I'm going to grab these on Let's see. a Morphe B13. Blend these two together and pop that right on the high point on my cheekbone. 
And of course, right above the brow bone. I love this palette and it has a beautiful mirror too that is just super duper nice to have. Take a little bit of them on the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow, chin, right at the top of the bridge. So for mascara today, I'm going to use um, Voluminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. And this is the waterproof formula because it's super hot today. 98% humidity. It's like 100 degrees. I ain't screwing around. I forgot how much I do like this mascara. And I'm actually, this is the first time I think I've tried it in waterproof and I really like it. Um, but for the bottom lashes, I do wanna go back to my Lash Sensational because it is a smaller brush. And I find the finer bristles easier to get the lower lash line. And I'm just gonna curl the tips with this brush. Okay, so the mixture of both of these mascaras together literally made me feel like I have false lashes on. I love it. I love it. All right, so brows today are gonna keep it super simple. Don't want a lot from the brows. Hello. <laughs> Hello, world. Hello, world. I'm Juliano. I am Juliano. <laughs> So using a dual-sided brush and my Makeup Revolution palette, I am just going in and doing a very slight nose contour just to give my nose a little bit of a slimmer appearance because I do have a little bit of a wide nose. And I like using this dual side because the smaller, more detailed brush is great for initial placement, but then the fluffier side is great to blend out with. <laughs> Life, life with boys. <laughs> okay, so for lips today, I wanna to use my ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This is in the color BFF, and it's just your typical kind of everyday nude color. Now that I have lip liner on, I'm gonna go into the color Boy from ColourPop, which is another beautiful nude, almost like a pinky peach color. Okay, and now, just to add a little bit more glow, I'm gonna take this charming lip gloss from ColourPop. Put that in the center of my bottom lip. So last but not least, now um, I don't have, like I said before, a setting spray that is a drugstore base. I have used them before and I do really like NYX setting sprays and I've heard wonderful things about the new flower setting spray. But just because I don't have anything, I do still wanna set and refix a little bit. So I'm gonna use my MAC Fix Plus in pink light but definitely going to be going out and trying the drugstore one because I've been hearing some really good things about them. So let's set. Let me run with you tonight. I'll take you on a moonlight ride. Okay guys, so this is the finished drugstore glam look. And I feel super, super beautiful. I do. I feel super sexy, really confident, and I love it. I'm gonna do a little close up here on my skin. Just looking in. Gorgeous. 
love it. The only thing I will say is, I don't know if it was the combination of the foundations or if it was just the fact that it's drugstore. Because, you know, I hate to knock it for being drugstore because drugstore works for me at times. But I do have a little bit of creasing right up here. Let's not forget, I'm also in my 30s. And <laughs> gravity, it, yeah. It's not so nice to me. So anyway, um, it might not be drugstore. It could be drugstore. It could be the combination of things. I don't know. Could be the primer. Maybe I need a little extra fill and boost. But honestly, overall, I am not complaining, you guys. And the fact that you can get this pretty much on a budget and for half the price you would spend on your bougie, prestige, high-end products, I am not complaining. Really, really love the eyeshadows, not going to lie. Feeling it. Wish I had somewhere to go, but the truth is I'm probably going to go to Target. Probably, yeah, Target and then uh, probably the gym because that's, that's being a mom, right? But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a ton of fun creating it for you. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I will link, of course, honorable mentions down below and I'm gonna really try to tally up here what I used and get a, a bit of a price range for you so that you can see for yourself how much more affordable it is and that you can get you know really good results hopefully you think it's good I think it's good but we'll see so yeah give me a thumbs up subscribe comment down below and I'll see you guys again really soon Okay guys, so I am checking back in with you. Like I said, um, I like to just kind of go throughout the day, see how the combinations wear, how the makeup looks. And for drugstore, you guys, I don't hate it. I mean, I'm gonna come in a little closer. I hope you can see, it's hard to see. I'm like in my car right now, which is probably not the best lighting. But um, it does show a little bit of texture. So unlike some of the other foundations I have that blurred out, um, it does show a little bit of texture. But I also have been having some texture issues lately. I don't know if it's that, you know, time of the month or if it is, you know, just my skin going through another change. I feel like every few years your skin kind of changes and goes through things. So it could be anything. It could be the foundation. It could be some of the new products I've been trying because I've been like going crazy with skin and all this stuff. Um, but I don't hate it. And actually in most lighting, the foundation looks really beautiful, really smooth. And it survived a workout drugstore foundation. Now, the only thing I will say, underneath my eyes, I'm getting little wrinkles from the Maybelline powder. But I mean, come on, I did a half hour of cardio, plus I did upper body and back today, so back and shoulders. And usually I sweat profusely at the gym because it's always fucking hot there. Anyway, so I give it a lot of credit because if this is the only area I'm really having issues with and like a little up here, I can handle that. But that means that if I need a drugstore dupe, for my higher end makeup, foundations, powders, etc., I know it'll still stay put for me. And oh my god, the shadows look dynamite. This makeup revolution eyeliner is bomb, you guys. You have to get it. Um, but my lips did come off, probably because I was like sucking down water like a horse. Let's be real, guys. Anyway, <laughs> so this video is not 1800 million minutes long here um i'm giving it thumbs up the combination and of course the milani foundation as well as um what did i oh my god i forgot what i mixed in oh my flower beauty hello and i like the glow i like the do i like the finish i like the wear you guys so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again real soon